hi guys in this video today i'm going to show you how to cut and sew this off shoulder sleeve in a very simple way which i've already have a video on how to cut and sew the body if you want the link to that you can let me know in the comment section below so let's begin now i'm going to measure what i have on the front neckline and i'm going to measure what i have on the back neckline i had it half inch seam allowance while cutting so i'm going to measure it all around now what i have here now is 11.5 inches i'm hard i'm deducting that one inch for seam allowance from it to give me 10.5 inches so i'm going to write it down and i'm going to measure what i have on the back part all together deduct that one inch for seam allowance from it like i did on the front part so what i have on the back part all together is 12 inches i'm i'm deducting one inch for seam allowance on the shoulder from it so the remaining one will give me 11 inches so if i had it all together it will give me 21.5 inches both front and back neckline so this is my front part and this is my back part i'm going to measure what i have all around my shoulder measurement i'm going to measure it all around so what i have there is 39 inches so i'll now deduct 21.5 inches from 39 inches it will give me 17.5 inches but i'm going to approximate it to 18 inches for it to be easier for me to work with So that 18 inches, I'm going to divide it by 2 because I'm cutting 2 sleeves. And this sleeve is like 2 in 1 sleeve. So I'm cutting the base first. For me to cut the base, I'm going to fold my fabric out now. So this is my base now, as you can see. So that 9 inches, I'm going to divide it by 2 for each base. I'm going to measure it out, which is 4.5 inches. So from this folded edge now, I'm going to measure out 4.5 inches, which is the half of my 9 inches. And from this upper part, I'm going to measure half inch for seam allowance out. So each of these fabrics is 6 inches length and 21 inches wide. So I'll go ahead and place my pattern paper like so and trace it out. So after tracing it out, I'm going to add 1.5 seam allowance on the side here and half inch seam allowance on the armhole. And I'm going to cut it out. Now after cutting, this is what I have. So I'll go ahead and cut the lining for both. I'm going to move on to the upper part, which is the flare part of the sleeve. And to know the amount of fabric putting on food for that, I'm going to make use of 8 inches for the length of my sleeve and I'm adding extra 5 inches to it to make it look puffy. And all together will be 13 inches. So 13 inches will be the length of the flare I'm cutting out. And to know the radius of it, I'm going to measure the base of my sleeve. Now here is the base of my sleeve. So let me use the second one for you guys to understand. So this is the half inch for seam allowance on the shoulder. And I have here 1.5 inch on both sides for side seam allowance. I'm measuring from here all through this place till I reach the second side. So what I have here all together now is 23 inches. So I'm going to do, divide it by 3.14 which is the formula to get half circle because I'm cutting half circle for my flare. So 23 inches divided by 3.14 will give me 7.3. So now I'm going to add that 13 inches to it. It will now give me 20.3. Approximately 20.5. So I'll go ahead and fold my fabric for the flare now. So I have here more than enough fabric here because I'm making use of 
23.5 inches by 23.5 inches let me just split it into two so this is my fabric it's folded into two like so as you can see and i'm going to fold it again diagonally just like triangle can you see that So from here now I'm going to measure the radius of my sleeve out which is 7.3 from the tip. I'm going to connect. From this line now I'm going to measure 13 inches which is, which is the length of my flare. All around and I'm going to connect. I'm adding half inch seam allowance on the bottom here. I'm going to add it on the upper part as well. I'll go ahead and fold the second one. I'm going to place it on it like this. Let it align on each other and cut it out. After cutting, this is what I have. I'm going to notch the center of the upper part and on the down part. So I'm making little adjustments on the open part of my flare to avoid it from too long on the armpit area so i'm going to measure two inches upward from this side just like this and i'm going to connect it like so and after that i'm going to cut it off and i'm going to move ahead to the stitching of the sleeve as you can see guys i'm done with the first sleeve i'm going to explain how i made it for you guys now here is the base of my sleeve the little adjustment i made there was that i cut off the seam allowance i added to it on this side i'm making the same thing on this flare i'm going to cut off about 1.5 inch from this side so i'll go ahead now place my lining on the right side of this piece and stitch the upper part here with half inch I'm done stitching as you can see. I'm going to turn it to the right side like so. Place my flare on it. But before doing that, I'm going to measure 1.5 inch from the shoulder here for me to place my flare on it and stitch. The center notch here. I'll let it align with the center of this place. Let me just fish out the center. So here is the center of this line. So I'll go ahead and place my flare on it. Let the right side face the right side of it like so. And let the center notch align with the center of this line and stitch. from here to here with half inch i'm done stitching as you can see so i'll go ahead and notch both edge here with half inch so after notching i'll go ahead and place it like this let the right side of my flare face the wrong side of the piece just like this and make sure the center align on each other so here is the center of my base here i'll now place my center notch of the flare on it like this and st stitch with half inch all through but i'm going to stitch it with little little pleats just like this on both sides i'm done stitching as you can see and i'm going to turn it to the right side So on the armpit here, the notching that I made before, place it like this, top stitch from here to here on both sides. I'm done top stitching as you can see. After top stitching, I'll go ahead and place it on the body to know where I'm going to stitch on my side. 
So I'm go I'll go ahead and place it like this for me to mark out my side seam allowance on the sleeve. I'm going to chalk it out. I'm going to do the same thing on the second side of the sleeve. Chalk it out like so. And I'll go ahead and fold my sleeve like so for me to stitch the side seam. From here to this place. I'm done stitching my sleeve as you can see. So I'll go ahead and attach it to my body. I'm turning it to the right side for me to place it on my body and stitch it together. So here is the body of my top. So I'll go ahead and place my sleeve like so and stitch. Let the armpit align on each other like so. And stitch from here to the second side. I'm done stitching as you can see. Look, look how neat and beautiful it is. This is where I'm stopping for today guys. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to support my channel. If you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing, you can join me on my Facebook group Details to Sewing, created by Akuridi Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akuridi Adenike. Please show some love by liking and following my page on Facebook at Akuridi Adenike Sewing Tutorial. Till I see you in my next video guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye.